Understanding Military Censorship, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning journey. Today, we're diving into an intriguing topic, military censorship. This phrase might sound complex, but don't worry. We're going to break it down together, exploring what it means, why it's important, and how it's applied in various contexts. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery of military censorship together. Military censorship refers to the process by which military authorities monitor and control information. This can involve restricting or withholding certain information from being published or broadcasted to the public. The main goal here is to protect national security and prevent the enemy from gaining access to sensitive information that could compromise military operations or the safety of soldiers and citizens. You might wonder, why restrict information? The answer lies in the safety and effectiveness of military operations. During conflicts or wars, information is a powerful tool. If sensitive details about troop movements, military strategies, or weaknesses were to fall into the wrong hands, it could lead to disastrous consequences. Therefore, military censorship is a precautionary measure to maintain the upper hand in conflicts and protect lives. Implementing military censorship involves a few key practices. Pre-publication review. Before news articles, books, or other materials are published, they're reviewed by military officials to ensure no sensitive information is disclosed. Media blackouts. Sometimes, the military may impose temporary restrictions on reporting about certain operations or events to ensure their success and the safety of those involved. Operational Security, OPSEC. This practice involves keeping potential adversaries from discovering critical information. It's a form of self-censorship that encourages soldiers and civilians to be mindful of the information they share publicly. Military censorship is a controversial topic. On one hand, it's seen as necessary for national security. On the other hand, it raises concerns about freedom of the press and the public's right to information. The balance between security and freedom is a delicate one, and different countries and organizations navigate this balance in various ways. And that wraps up our exploration of military censorship. We've seen how it's a tool used by military authorities to protect operations and save lives, but also how it sparks debate on ethical and democratic grounds. Remember, understanding such complex topics not only enhances your language skills but also broadens your perspective on global issues. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this video has been informative and thought-provoking. See you in the next one!